Right. Awesome. So, hey, Audrey, how are you doing today? How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. So we, we met each other maybe two or three months ago through a mutual friend, Katie Cope. Um, she was at least the one who introduced me to you. And um, yeah. it's just been wonderful to, to get to know you and, um, and your son, Maverick, as well. Do you want to just fill me in a little bit and, and fill our listeners in on um, how we sort of met each other and just a little bit about your, your background? Yeah, sure. Hey, Mitch. Um, so, yeah, we did meet through mutual friends, Katie and Cameron. And um, I had been watching them on Facebook. Um, work with their kids, Max and Seneca, who are relatively around the same age as my son, Maverick. And they were showing videos that their kids were reading at two and even before then. And so I was intrigued, like, what are they doing? What's going on? Because being a first time parent, you know, I, I really value education and I wanted to see and have Maverick experience uh, the same comprehension and uh, literacy that their children were experiencing. So I friended them and that's how I met you. And we've been using the same platform mm -hmm. and it's just been, it's been amazing. It's been an amazing journey. Yeah. And, and just before we jump into that, I'm, I'm curious when you think about like, you want the best for Maverick, obviously, like every parent does. Um, but what do you see as the benefit of educating a child? So Maverick is, um, he's seven now, six or seven? Yeah, he's six. He'll be seven in a week. Okay, perfect. I knew it was close to that. So what is, what is your approach to education? Like, why is it so important for a kid to make sure they can comprehend and understand? Yeah, so, um, I know I value education for him, but I, but really what the root was, was just wanting him to have a grasp on vocabulary. That's really the root for, for everything. And when um, we enrolled Maverick, you know, we were on this path, we wanted to enroll Maverick in pre-K, kinder, the best schools, you know, regardless of price, that wasn't even a question. It was more so giving him this opportunity or a baseline to have an opportunity in life just to have happiness, freedom, and the vocabulary behind that. Um, so we were hoping it would provide, but you know, we, we, so price didn't matter. And we put him in top-notch schools at an early age and um, Maverick didn't come out fully reading. And so these tests showed that he was above the charts in their charting on math, but he was below in comprehension. So instead of, we wanted one-on-one, -on -one. you know, we both worked, his dad and I. And so we were paying this institution to hopefully, you know, train Maverick in reading, but the one-on-one -on -one personalization wasn't happening, but yet our pocket was getting drained for the tuition. And now our child was just coming out with a learning disability label, but it wasn't quite that. Um, so where we're, where we're at now with what we do now, it's been mind blowing. Like we've gotten everything we wanted and then some. Wow. Yeah. And, um, so you had the school and then I think you also said it was like a tutoring service too. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. so when we, so in kindergarten, yep. When we saw that Maverick was falling below in, um, reading and comprehension, um, uh, before we medicated him, which is a personal choice, we would never, but before we went down this road that was almost recommended, um, we put him in tutoring. And so we went to Sylvan Learning and we put him in tutoring four days a week for an hour a day, which was recommended for a child of his age consistency. And, and we did that for 10 months straight. And so that of course was pricey. And that, that was in addition to his, to his parochial education. 
and he still didn't come out reading. So what Maverick enjoyed about it was social hour and they did a traditional rewards. So if you did your hour, they let you go shopping with points. And so Maverick just wanted the gift at the end and just did whatever. And it was, it was really memorization, but that wouldn't, that didn't work for Maverick. He would quickly forget what he learned that day. And it still took practice you know, at home. So that's what it, it, it was exhausting to Maverick. It was exhausting for us. It was financially, we were almost tapped out with school plus tutoring. So it left us looking for a, another option. Yeah. And, and then um, I know, so Cameron and Katie, you know, they openly show their, their two kids, Max and Seneca, they're reading, understanding Max is programming computers now and he's four. So it's, it's remarkable, right? So what was so great is that you and I had connected and you shared with me a little bit about how Maverick was um, just having, yeah, difficulty reading and maybe like flipping the letters around. Was, was that like the main thing? Did I get that right? Yeah. Yeah, it was like B's and D's. He was he was flipping them around, um, but he would also get really nervous. So when he got nervous, he he wants to know. He speaks so much for scoring so low. He's such a talker. He's a he's so chatty, and he's got a lot of great ideas, brilliant ideas, and he doesn't care how it comes out. He's telling you his ideas. And so it, it was frustrating when he couldn't get this test right or he couldn't remember the word, but he knew the words meanings. He was very eager. The eagerness never went away. He was always excited, but it, it was it was a little bit frustrating when he didn't get it right because he wanted to get it right. So um, that's, that's yeah. where we were. Yeah. And I can imagine as a parent as well, putting the money into it, you know, putting in hours and, and all that time and not seeing the results, it's a bit a bit frustrating. Um, so then we met, uh, chatted about TechnoTutor, what's possible with that. So would you mind sharing a little bit about um, how your journey has been then after you got TechnoTutor? One, what'd you do with Sylvan in the school? <laughs> you still going to those? <laughs> no, okay. not at all. So, oh my gosh. So I knew that Cameron and um, Katie were using Techno Tutor, right? And I just knew that we had to use it too. And, um, you know, I, and so I, I presented it to his father and, you know, we were just on this path to go this traditional route. And finally, when I was talking to the Sylvan, I, you know, I made, I made really good relationships. I made really great rapport with Sylvan and, and I respected who was our tutor and she was really in tune with children and children's needs. And, you know, when I sat down with her monthly to talk about Maverick, she says, you know, he's so excited. He's got a lot to say. He's got great ideas, you know, he, and so she looked at me in my eye and she said, try everything you know, if Sylvan isn't working for you guys and giving you the results, try everything. And that was kind of the green light. And that's when I told Katie, you know, I'm ready. Like, mm -hmm. let's do this now. And that's when she put me in touch with you and our lives have transformed since we got Techno Tutor. You know, I took Maverick's picture the day he got it. He's holding it up. And with the gold key, he's so excited. And once we started it, it's just been such a exciting, fun, easy journey that I would just share with everybody that mm. they should they should definitely, definitely consider it. Yeah. Um, what have been some of the improvements you maybe noticed with um, with Mavericks? And this, by the way, is in just two months. What have you noticed? Yeah, so I introduced it to Maverick and, you know, um, I told him just, you know, see how how the words come and and give it a chance and let's see. And we did just a little bit at first, you know, and but um, we introduced it daily and Maverick has he used to be so anxious reading. He used to get tired reading. I'm talking like the first couple, once I would bring out a book, he'd almost be dreadful. Like, no, not this again. Reading's not my thing, mom. And, and just not wanting to do it. Of course he would ultimately do it, 
but he wasn't looking forward to it. He wasn't enthusiastic. He wasn't going to pick out books. He was almost writing it off, you know? And then after we started doing techno tutor, he looks forward to it. You know, he has clarity. There's no more anxiety. Um, it's fun and easy. It's, we're not sitting, we're not tutoring for hours a day anymore. Mm -hmm. We, we about do 20 minutes a day and we're off to our activities in our life. Whereas our life was school and tutoring before like 12 hours a day of studying. And now it's 20 minutes and we're involved in so many other activities. We're in soccer, basketball, music classes. He's enjoying the water park during the day. He's just enjoying his life as an almost seven year old. You know, and our life has shifted it, it from seriousness, from this pressure to now we're just learning so rapidly and easily. And our life has opened up to do everything that we dreamed of. Wow. And I know with, with TechnoTutor, yes, it's helping us learn and you get to integrate information and that's all wonderful. Um, but also... What have you noticed in maybe other areas of, of his life and with you? Is there a bit more, I guess, confidence or um, stability? Like, what does that look like for you? Yeah, so the confidence that I've seen with Maverick is he's not tired anymore. He's, he's excited now. Reading doesn't scare him. This fear has dissipated. And, you know, he's always wanted to tell me about his ideas. They come across clearly now. If he can't get it across clearly, he can correct himself and rephrase his statement. And we can sit and have a conversation with um, clarifying without there being frustration or just dropping the subject because you can't understand each other. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's understand. So now we're moving forward and making plans with clarity and understanding and ease really. Wow. That's wonderful. And um, yeah. Is, is there anything else you want to share about either what you've noticed maybe with yourself or kind of how things are unfolding as now we move into, you know, in, into the future? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, there's comes a lot of pressure with being a parent and you want to get things right. And that was definitely me you know, just wanting the best and, and this sense of competitiveness sort of, you know, it's, it's there, it's real, it's there, uh, that, and, and just with life, how life gets thrown at you with different situations, I've been able to effectively parent, um, be happy parenting and enjoying my role as a mom uh, fully and still deal with life on life's terms by using TechnoTutor. For myself mm. and what what does that look like just even at a high level how how are you using techno tutor to to do that um so i enter in daily affirmations mm. into my techno tutor and it and it takes you from repeating something over and over and over again hoping it's going to work or stick to where I've entered my affirmation, I've had people reiterate what I've entered back to me like the next day <laughs> and just tell me a statement. And I'm like, I just entered that affirmation in Techno Tutor. This is mind blowing. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm so, you, you clearly just, you're taking it and you're running with it, which is so wonderful. It's such a, it's such a, a joy to be able to um, see you grow as well as Maverick. And I can just imagine, like, seriously, two to three months, you know, imagine now after six months or a year, you know, what's what's possible. So, yeah, um, just for anyone listening, you know, if, if they're curious about TechnoTutor or to hear more about your story and just chat one on one, um, I'm going to include in the description a link to your Facebook as well as my Facebook so people can get in touch with us. Um, we're easygoing people, you know, we're just happy to share our stories and share what's working because as you and I both see, there's thousands and thousands of parents out there really struggling, really looking for a solution and TechnoTutor works, period. So is there anything else you want to, you want to share with anyone listening, Audrey? I'm just super excited. I really wish I could transfer this enthusiasm to everyone that's looking. You know, it's 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 been such a big shift from from seriousness 
to finally being able to enjoy life and smile so big. There's been a lot of tears and a lot of money spent <laughs> trying to find the solution, but I'm here now. Awesome. Well, thank you for taking the time out of your busy life, Audrey. And um, I know I, I appreciate this. I'm sure our viewers will appreciate this. And I look forward to continuing to um, watch and e e explain all this progress that you're making and that we're all making together. So we can, you know, provide this education to families and kids and create a better world. So thanks, Audrey. <laughs> thanks. Yep. Thanks, Mitch. All right. Bye, everyone. <laughs>